But it's a, I'm using the magnet, the max head, just as a source of heat. But I'll line the max head, they in turn will pass on the heat to the ammonia that's coming, and then it'll start disproportionating the drum. And then if you watch this um, composition, disproportionation, you'll, you'll notice it, it'll, it'll look like a, it'll look like a tiny little volcano. In fact, this little bit of service that's called a volcano. So I want you to, uh, I want you to crowd around that hood so that you can see it. But you've got to have a perspective so you can see down in that hood so you can see the whole thing. Welcome to the hood, y'all. The hood. Let's put a few of them in there. Um, so I'm just going to collect a few hats for this. out of our material? I'm sorry. We were trying to do it in the hood and I decided to keep blowing my match out. Well, you know nothing happens good in the hood. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just the boy in the hood today. Uh, <laughs> Come on. You need a lighter? Oh. It's going to go in a minute. I'm just clumsy. Can't get it moving. Well, fiddly D and fiddly down. Well, I'll fiddly do. Maybe if I get my match going real good first. Oops, I <laughs> broke his head. What do you just join the others? You're good. Look, campfire. Look at the campfire. Yeah. Look, match heads are not catching. Uh, what is it's making a look. Uh, it looks like a little bitty volcano. <laughs> there went the match heads. <laughs> I don't want to set up this smoke detector. Doesn't that look like a volcano? Yeah. Yeah. That green stuff you see, that's the CR203. Okay. And, 
street. And it's giving off heat, that's the light you see. And the gas is there pushing it, and that's the water and the night heat and the night. Oh my gosh. It seems like it's creating more matter, but it's oh my not. God. It's just this stuff is less dense than the stuff I started with. Oh yeah, you can just tell the fellow thing you put the roof to Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 Was that pretty spectacular? Yeah. Uh, the amount of matter didn't change, though, even though it looks like it. It might come from up over, literally. But that's because this stuff is so less dense than the well, stuff I started with. But if, you know, the, if, you were to, if you were to capture all those gases, and if we weighed out, say I weighed out exactly five grams of this, then I would get by, you know, by the stoichiometry we learned, mm -hmm. I, I could calculate exactly how much chromium oxide I could <coughs> and exactly how much nitrogen, exactly how much water. Um, okay, so let's let's uh, let's do that as the as the final part of our. Experiment. What are we doing? We're going to do a calculation. Okay, so. Alright, we can write this uh, under analysis. Under analysis, we can uh, write down uh, what we did here. Let's say, now I didn't really do this, so this part, this part is a uh, virtual experiment, but if I were to have started with exactly, let's say, uh, 5.000 grams. In other words, I measured it out to the nearest uh, Thousand of a gram, the nearest milligram. Of, if I start out with five grams of that stuff right there, then you know by what you've learned in stoichiometry, we could we could calculate how many grams of this we expect, how many grams of this we expect, and how many grams of that we expect if we first add up the molar mass of all these compounds and then see the stoichiometry with which they're reacting. And then moles equals how many moles, and you do that. So if I take that time, uh, ammonium dichromate, this time, this time I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give the answer. Uh, I'm going to follow all the decimals. You know how I round off? I'm going to follow the decimals. This is uh, nitrogen. Uh, each nitrogen I'm going to see is 14.01. Uh, so 14. 0.01 times 2 is the contribution uh, from the nitrogen and in the in the formula of mass. And then for the hydrogens, there's eight of them, and each of those is 1.008. So for the hydrogen, I've got eight times 1.008 for the contribution. For chromium, I've got I've got two of them. And each chromium is a, oh, it's exactly 52. So chromium, we've got 2 times 52. Um, there's two chromium. And then for the seven oxygens, uh, oxygen, they round off to 16. So for the oxygen, it's going to contribute 7 times the uh, uh, 16. So if I add this up on my calculator, I can. Um, we've got oh, 2 times 14.01, so I'm keeping track of all the decimals. 14.01 uh, times 2 uh, plus 8 times, uh, whoops, it's the wrong key, sorry. 2 times 14.02 plus 8 times 1.02. 008. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. 14.01 times 2 plus 8 times. Okay, now then plus uh, 52 plus 52 plus. 
So 252.084. Grams per mole for this stuff. For this stuff, it's going to be two times 52. This stuff's going to be two times 52 per chromium plus three times the 16. So we've got uh, what? 104. We've got 52 uh, times two uh, plus uh, 48. So plus. The second one is oxygen. Plus three. Yeah, there's three of them. Uh, and so this adds up to 152 grams per mole. Nitrogen, of course, is two times the 14.02. Uh, that's 28.04. So we expect 28.04 uh, is the contribution for mass P. And then this stuff is per mole. This is grams per mole. And this is four times the uh, well, Water is going to be, let's see, two times uh, 1.708 plus uh, uh, two times plus 716 plus 16 is 18.016 each one. Now let's let's see if I take this mass and divide it into that, that'll be. That would be how many moles of this I saw. What's your question? Um, do we not have to do it because of the board that balances it? When I get to the split okay. it's already balanced. Okay. Now I just want to All I'm doing now is figure out how many moles of this I've got. Okay. This is the how many grams I said I started with. Mm -hmm. And if I divide by this number, that's how many moles. So 5.000 divided by 252.08 is my is my quest here. So five divided by 252.08 gives me uh, 0 0.01983 uh, moles. 0 0.01983 moles. I know these are the K-dot many decimals, but I'm doing it on purpose today. So according to the stoichiometry then. Every mole of this gives me uh, one mole of this. So over here for my product, if I do heat up five grams of this and I let it disproportionate, I expect that many moles of this thing. So I expect one point uh, oh one nine eight three times. 152 grams per uh, moles times 152 grams per mole of the chromium three oxide. So multiplying that out, um, I get 3.015, 3.0149. I'll just give it all the way. 3.0149 grams is what I expect. And then for the nitrogen, I expect uh, uh, one mole per mole, so I expect 28.4 times that same number. So for the, I expect, uh, I expect what? Uh, la, la, la. 28.04 uh, times that number, 0 0.01983. Uh, so 0 0.01983. Uh, times uh, 28.04. That's going to be about 0 0.5560, uh, 0 0.55603, I can say, grams. And then for the water, I'm going to expect four times this number times that number per mole. So I'll expect four, four times. Four, that's this four times the 0 0.01983 times the 18.016. So for the amount of water I expect, it's going to be uh, 4 times uh, 0 0.01983 and then uh, times 18, times the 18.016, that is 
So that's a total of uh, 1.4290 grams. So if I take the 1.4290 as a 0.55603 and a 3.0149, what do you reckon I'm going to get? Let's see. I'm going to get a 3 here, a 0 here. Well, I'm going to add all this up. One point. 4290 plus 0.55603 plus uh, 3.0149 equals 4.99993. And you can't get much closer to exactly 5 than that. And, and uh, why didn't I get exactly 5? Because even at that, I did round off some of these numbers. And for all practical purposes, I'm here to tell you, that is five. Yeah. Uh, so, since we got that, and it's so close to that, that would be, which one we started with? Matter is concerned. Oh, okay. I did, I did, I, the kind of matter changed. You know, this stuff is orange and dense, and this stuff is green and very less dense, and these were gases, yeah. and, uh, and you saw the sparkly heat coming off. It was neat. Um, that's all for today, then. And what was the purpose of the lab? To carry observe, out. carry out the disproportionation of ammonium dichromate. Okay. And what were our materials the ammonium? Ammonium mm -hmm. dichromate, little porcelain dish, matches. Do we put the butter now? No. I mean, I had to do it outside the hood. Because <laughs> it was too big a draft. And then, oh. a dish. Not a dish.